Heather, whenever I mention the use of steroids, inhaled steroids in asthma, uh, my patients get very nervous. A lot of questions about, you know, well, what are the side effects of these medications? They have the image of bodybuilders and all the negative effects of steroid use. How do you discuss that? What are the side effects of these drugs? You know, how do you couch it and talk about this with your patients? Well, I think the concerns that come from the use of inhaled steroids stem back to known side effects that we know about with oral steroids or steroid pills that have to be taken on a regular basis. These steroid pills um, are not anabolic steroids that build muscles. They're corticosteroids uh, that actually can have very different side effects. There can be weight gain, uh, decreased bone density leading to osteopenia or osteoporosis, um, increased blood pressure, uh, predisposition to developing diabetes, cataracts, glaucoma. So some very serious side effects with these oral steroids being used chronically. And while the inhaled steroids are the same basic medications, they're used at a much, much, much smaller dose, and they're targeted to go directly to the lung and have as little absorption throughout the rest of the body as possible. So the goal is to target the part of the body that we really need to treat with the steroids without dealing with all the body-wide side effects. That being said, they're not completely without risk of side effects. Um, high dose inhaled steroids used on a long-term basis uh, can have a little bit of the medication get into the body-wide circulation, into what we call the systemic circulation. So there can be some uh, small increased risk of things like cataracts, glaucoma, um, decreased bone density, increased blood pressure, things like that. Um, but we do have to balance that with the risks of not using these medications. Uh, and that's the risk of uncontrolled asthma. So not only if you don't use your inhaled steroids, uh, if they've been prescribed regularly, can you have uncontrolled asthma? You can actually have an asthma attack that makes your doctor have to give you those oral steroids, those higher dose medications again. And those are the ones we know can really wreak havoc on the body. Um, for children as well, there's been a question, well, what can inhaled steroids do to growth? And that was something that was questioned for years without a clear, clear answer. Um, but now there have been some very good studies that have suggested that yes, there is a small, small impact on the final adult height of a child who has taken inhaled steroids at a decent dose during their critical growing years. Uh, but again, we have to balance that. If that's a child that otherwise would be on oral steroids multiple times in a winter each of those years, we know that those that steroid dose would be much worse and the effect uh, could be much worse. Uh, so if it's the appropriate medicine for you, if your asthma is not controlled and it's required, um, in most cases, the benefits do outweigh the risks. There are a couple of local side effects too, uh, which I'm sure you see too. Uh, you do get this thrush, which is a fungus infection in the throat. And, uh, but it's easily preventable. Um, essentially, after you take the inhaled steroids, you should rinse and goggle uh, so that local steroid deposition is cleared. And uh, so that's uh, one effect. And if it, even if it does happen, it's, it's easily treatable. And the other thing which I see sometimes is uh, changes in voice, like hoarseness. And, uh, and that, again, is because of the medication depositing on the way down into the lungs uh, on the vocal cords. And again, usually for that, I just need to change uh, the, the, the inhaled steroid I'm using. Uh, or the delivery device I'm using, and that seems to fix that problem.